Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel RefactoBot. In the previous video, we explored how to scan an existing project for security issues and vulnerabilities using an AI tool. The scan provided us with a detailed audit report that included a clear description of the findings, an executive summary for the management team, and a list of vulnerabilities categorized as critical, high, medium, and low priority along with recommended timelines to fix them. In this video, we'll review the audit report, use the AI tool to fix the vulnerabilities, and then rescan the project to check the improvements. As you saw, the report is quite comprehensive. The AI tool provided all the details and explained everything clearly. Some vulnerabilities are mandatory to fix, while others are low priority. Today, we'll use the AI tool cursor to fix a few critical vulnerabilities first. I'm going to give this prompt to the AI tool. As a developer, can you fix the critical vulnerability related to the hard-coded database credentials? Once I provide this prompt, the AI tool understands the requirement and starts working on the fix. Now you can see that Cursor has begun reviewing the request and will start making code changes shortly. It has broken the work down into four tasks. Create an environment configuration file to store the database credentials. Update the code base to fetch the credentials from environment variables. Create a template for the .env file. Update the .jitignore file. The AI tool has now started the process, following the plan step by step, making the code changes, applying the fixes, and updating the necessary files. Now the AI has started modifying the code. It begins with environment.php, then moves on to the configuration file env.example, followed by database.php, and finally it is updating the code into the config.php file. There are so many lines to update in this file. As you've seen here, AI is updating multiple lines. You can click on the file name and view the changes where it fixes the vulnerability. Next, it updates the config.php file and then revises the .git in your file. Finally, it creates a setup security readme file to provide additional details about the changes. Now the AI has started modifying the code. It begins with environment.php, then moves on to the configuration file env.example, followed by database.php, and finally, it is updating the code into the config.php file. There are so many lines to update in this file. As you've seen here, AI is updating multiple lines. You can click on the file name and view the changes, where it fixes the vulnerability. Next, it updates the config.php file and then revises the .git in your file. Finally, it creates a setup security readme file to provide additional details about the changes. After the update, the tool generates a new report. This report shows the number of files affected during the code fixes and highlights the key security improvements made during the update. You'll notice an option called Keep All. This means you can choose whether to keep all the changes made by the tool. If you click it, the changes will be applied to the project's code. For example, when I click on database.php, you can see a comparison of the old code and the updated code, including changes related to the .env file and credentials. Next, I open environment.php, which contains all the configuration settings. The config.php file holds the path details. We will review each file one by one, such as user.php and model underscore user.php to see exactly where the vulnerabilities were fixed. The tool also made changes to other files. Finally, the security update.php file is updated with all the necessary security information. 
after applying these fixes, we'll run the assessment again to check whether the reported vulnerabilities have been resolved. Some of the previously detected issues should now be marked as fixed. We'll use the same prompt as before to rerun the AI-based VAPT scan. The AI will reassess the project and generate an updated report. The assessment begins. It scans the project again and produces the new report at the end. 